Right now we're getting ready to make some utensils that we're going to use. It, early people didn't have spoons and Tupperware and forks and things like we do, so they had to make things out of nature. A lot of times what we'll just use is sticks for the different things that we want to, to use. And this, this is going to be a rock, something I'm going to use to pick up the rocks out of the fire. And this is a willow stick that we just gathered yesterday so it's green. And you want to make sure you're using green wood so it doesn't catch on fire as quickly. And usually I can use willow for doing something like this. And it's got a lot of moisture in it so it won't catch on fire. And what I did was I just cut a fork out of a longer willow stick and when I'm when it's finished what I'm going to do is cut a little indentation in here so this can flip over almost like a primitive um, tong. Tong. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> a primitive tongue. Every time you turn that thing on I forget all my words. <laughs> <laughs> A primitive tongue so I'll be able to lay these rocks in the fire and then take them out and put them in my stew. These here are going to become stakes that I'm going to stake the stomach out in this area here. This is actually a pottery firing pit where we fire our pottery in but since it's raised the dirt is pretty loose there and it's easy for me to dig a hole. So one of the things I'm going to want to do is dig a hole in here that's probably about a foot deep and maybe a foot wide, big enough for me to lay my stomach in. And then out of these willow sticks here, I'm going to um, make some stakes so I can stake the stomach skin out around the hole and I can use that as a container. Buckets like this and other types of pots um, were something that Lewis and Clark brought over with them, but the people living here had to make do with what they had. And so they were always looking for things that they could use for containers. Not only did they use the stomach of an animal, but they would make basketry containers and cook with hot rocks and that. They would use a, um, a rawhide from an animal skin. If there was a fresh kill, they would cut out a piece of the rawhide and use that in the same way I was describing to use the stomach and cook their stew or their food, whatever they were making inside of that. And they would also make clay containers to cook in. And we, when we made clay containers here we just dig the red dirt out of the mountains here which makes a pretty good clay and we can make a, a clay container that we can cook you know some hot rocks in. The water containers that they used in this area were basketry pitched containers so they made some tight woven basketry containers that they pitched with pine pitch and some of the red clay on the outside to fill in some of the holes and that would become their water container. So um, containers was a real important thing and you were always looking around out in nature to see if you could find something that you can use for a container. These rocks that we gathered here are some rocks I'm going to use for cooking. And I'll just put some of them out here so you can see what, what we're using. Um, these rocks were just gathered from around on the trails here and we try to make sure that we don't gather them anywhere where there's water because if there's any moisture content in the rocks they could burst when we're heating them up in the fire and we don't want that to happen. Every now and then you'll have a rock that'll split in half but generally they keep their shape and we can use them over and over again. And this is a good size because you want to be able to fit more than one rock in your stomach or whatever type of container that you're cooking with at once. And usually I like to put about three or four rocks in to start it boiling and then as it continues to boil what you'll see later is we'll be taking rocks out as they cool down and putting new rocks in to keep that rolling boil going. So this is about the right size that I like to use and generally I can use these rocks more than once. Got the rocks in the flame now. Right down there in the coals. That is a hot fire. <laughs> 